Today I'm going to show you guys how to batch resize a bunch of photos in under two minutes. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to batch resize an entire group of photos. Now this is useful for like a ton of different purposes. Let's say you were hired to photo a wedding or an event, something like that, when you've got a bunch of photos. We know digital cameras right now, they capture huge files, right? Let's say you wanna send your images to your clients, maybe something for social media, and you don't need to send them the entire full size images. Maybe you want 800 pixel wide images, you can just basically take an entire folder and then in Photoshop, resize the entire folder and have it automatically save out. It's a super cool feature. Not many people know about it and we're gonna show you how to do it in under two minutes. And we're creating this tutorial in partnership with Creative Market. You guys can download really cool templates and graphics and themes, things like that. And you can save 15% using the coupon code FLEARN. So head over to Creative Market, boop, 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 FLEARN, save 15%. All right, let's get into our tutorial. All right, let's start the clock. So the first thing I wanna do is bring one of my images right into Photoshop. So I'm gonna go over to Window and down to my Actions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder and I'm gonna just call this Resize. And we're gonna hit this new Action icon and I'm just gonna call this 800px. So let's go ahead and hit Record now. Now it's recording everything that I do. If I go to Image and then down to Image Size, I type in my width as 800 pixels, it's going to record that. There we go, 800 and hit okay. So you can see it changed my image size and recorded it. So here in Photoshop, just go to file and then down to save as, there we go. Now it doesn't matter where you put it. You just put, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Why not? That sounds good. JPEG looks good, hit save. And then you wanna go ahead and make sure you choose your quality and you can choose, I usually go with about 10. That's a pretty good quality. Go ahead and hit okay. And there we go, let's hit stop on this action. So let's automate this thing. I'm gonna to go to file, down to automate, and we're gonna to go to batch. So here in our batch, we wanna choose our set. This is our action set, so resize. We're gonna choose our action, which is 800 pixels. We just made that, okay? And then is that gonna ask the source, you can choose open files, or you can choose an entire folder. So I'm gonna choose a folder here. I'm gonna to go to my resize folder and you can see I put five images in my resize folder. So let's go ahead and choose that. Now I do suggest clicking where it says suppress file open dialogs and color warning options, things like that. Go ahead and click on those. Now our destination is going to be a folder as well. So let's hit choose here. Let's go to our desktop. We're gonna to go to resize and I'm gonna create a new folder in here called 800px for 800 pixels. And let's hit choose. Here where it's gonna go ahead and save it out. You want the first thing to be your document name. Then I like to do an underscore and we'll just do 800 here. And here you just go to none. And then here you just make sure you add extension. Now the very last thing is go ahead and click override action save as commands. Let's hit okay here. So now let's go ahead and pop into finder. Let's check out that 800 pixel folder we made. Here's our image. It says underscore 800 because we told us to do so. And our dimensions are 800 pixels wide. So you can see just by hitting OK on that batch, it processed all these images, added underscore 800, and resized each one of these images to 800. And that's all there is to batch resizing an entire folder of images. And we created this tutorial in partnership with Creative Market. Together, we're helping you use your creative tools better. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's tutorial. Learn more at flurn.com and creativemarket.com.